Steffi, who do we have here today? I like the way that you said that about me. He's like sultan. Oh, anyway, we have here today. What's going on, hockey? We have uh, just a stellar, just out of these, out of this world runners. We have Oats and Goats, of course, known for his previous runs, Super Metroid Impossible, uh, his Friday Night Races. You might have heard of him on the Summoning Salt World Record Progression videos. We also have uh, Behemoth eighty seven, just. A, a machine uh, if anything the embodiment of of I'll say this how about this if uh, detective John Kimball Conan the Barbarian and Terminator had a baby that's your guy right there and then we also <laughs> had shiny Zenny who started playing this game ever since he's was just but a young squirtle and look at him now shining uh, RBO world record holder just a very helpful mentor to a lot of beginners oh my goodness hockey like i just don't know where to begin but i know where we're gonna end absolutely we're gonna end at the ship leaving planet zebus with all three runners having collected a hundred pickups from start to finish in this absolutely legendary platformer now um I, you know what I think um, I think things are looking good now because I, I know that they've been raring to go. Uh, it's always hype movement, uh, extraordinary gameplay. So what do you think, Hockey? Should we just uh, get them going right now? Let's get those Komodo hypes, if anything, because uh, they're about to square off. You're absolutely right, Sefi. I think our runners are readied up. And I think it's right. almost time to count them down. I mean, just join me in counting them down. Hockey, let's get it off. Uh, we'll go on go, all right? So yep. that's uh, three, three, two, two one, one, go. go. <laughs> Good luck to you, fantastic runners. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Hockey, now I'm not going to lie. Um, Super Metroid 100% item collection is just, I, I feel like it's the Christmas in July, like hopping, see, like shopping season. It's like you have Samus just trying to get this clearance sales on a bunch of items and just obviously trying to like get her baby back, uh, which we have uh, showing up right now on screen. There is indeed a baby here on Sirius Station, the bastion of all scientific discovery in the Super Metroid galaxy. But who's this? Who's this? Who's this character stealing the baby? <laughs> what a baby thief. Oh my gosh, it's only it it's only Ridley, uh, our beloved space pelican, the Bowser, if you will, with wings of Super Metroid. Yes, our runner's gonna make their way off of Sirius station as fast as possible and uh Steffi would you say like a 46 is a really solid time for leaving series I know the world world record is like 47 something yes if anything uh a lot of runners just make do with a 45 but look out for those 46s uh as soon as they hit this elevator right here Ooh, well really good times right there off to a great start and just narrowly escaping the series space station. Never to be heard from again. But yeah, um, just, uh, it's a pretty standard start. Uh, obviously you can't do much without progression. Uh, they still have to pick up the uh, their first item, the morphing ball. Oh, a lot yeah. of people call it morph ball, but uh, does tend to forget about that morphing. <laughs> you know, like it's uh, you know, like it's a Power Rangers special. You know, the morphing time. <laughs> well, as soon as our runners make it down to Retro Brinstar, Steffi, it will be morphing time and then some. As you said, the runners, in order to kind of kickstart the rest of the game, spawn all the enemies and change the music at the beginning uh, here on Planet Zebus. The uh, runners do have to pick up Morphing Ball and that first missile pack. Look at this going down the reverse climb with that Moonfall, uncapping their fall speed. That's a pretty recent discovery, I'd say within the last five to six years, Sefi. 
Uh, that's correct. Yes, uh, it actually it's one of the biggest uh, time saves that we were able to discover in the last few years. Um, just when you think you know it's uh, it's impossible to get any more time saves, next thing you know, someone comes out with something and just some sort of exploitation to to make this run a little faster, and especially in 100% because every second counts. I used to say that the moment you hit uh, the 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 key to start your timer, uh, you're already losing time. You're losing seconds. <laughs> now, right you are, Sefi. This is a marathon. It's a fitting category for this SGDQ charity marathon, supporting Doctors Without Borders, of course. Uh, this is not a sprint category. This is the full 26.2 miles. All 100 pickups must be picked up, for lack of a better word. But uh, it's all about optimization through all of the various rooms and caverns throughout the planet Zebus. And uh, lots of boss fights, both main bosses and mini. And that's where we're headed right now, Sefi. We're going headed towards the first mini boss of the game, Bomb Terizo. Uh, that, yep, that's uh, honestly, I don't know. I, uh, I can remember the times when I've died to that really easy boss, but you'll see them make quick work of just about anything. Uh, you also see uh, slight differences in uh, in strats here. You see that uh, Behemoth goes for some ledge grabbing. Uh, ledge grabbing is actually what, uh, what runners use to try to land, uh, I guess, a little bit earlier um, by extending uh, Samus's hitbox. And they're actually... Uh, uh, so Behemoth has a uh, has a unique way to play this game because he actually has uh, his dash button or your run button, if you will, on an angle on an uh, on his L button. So it's kind of it kind of reminds me of uh, like MMX runners. I don't know what your preference. Uh, though, my preference to is to play this play game, this game like... incredibly slow compared to these three runners and pretty much anyone who has ever seriously speed speedrun Super Metroid. You can see the speed here. Oh, but Zenny not <laughs> avoiding the decapitation animation on Bomb Terizo. Behemoth out to a lead here, uh, heading into the Alcatraz escape. But yeah, Behemoth definitely using that the eponymous Behemoth climb up the up the climb. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's a, a weird thing with some of the names for these uh, for these strats and items, like. Uh, Oh, look, Behemoth is here in the Terminator room. You know, you know Sophie, why it's called the Terminator room? Why don't you tell room, all right? our viewers out there across the globe why it's called the Terminator room? Because uh, <laughs> they'll be back. <laughs> right you are. Right you are. The, <laughs> the next time we see that room, Sefi, our runners are going to have every item under the sun, all the movement items, all the suits, all the beams, and 100% of the ammunition. So we're not going to be seeing that room for a long time. No, it'll be a while. But uh, in the meantime, they're actually going to go for their first major uh, sequence break. It's going to be utilizing a special strat called the Mock Ball, which uh, it's called the Mock Ball because it mocks the speed of running because you retain that momentum in ball form. That's right. That's a very crucial sequence break. The first of most Super Metroid speedrun categories. And uh, yeah, picking up those early supers will allow our runners to skip an entire mini boss fight that is Nintendo's <laughs> downloadable content. <laughs> DLC supported for this nearly 30 year old game. Uh, that is Spore Spawn, but we will not be seeing Spore Spawn today, but we will be seeing all the other mini bosses. Yeah, um, Spore Spawn's really just been a product of its time just forgotten just wasting away it's a good avocado to just kind of let you know grow old it's a, it's a shame well you know spore spawn is uh, much maligned he's often skipped in these categories but he does have some stalwart supporters out there both in viewer land and in this commentary booth but lots of items to pick up here, several missile packs, a reserve tank, as well as those early supers, and our runners will be on their way to traverse through the rest of Brinstar. Uh, what do you think about a, about a donation or two? Uh, yeah, we do have time for that as they pick up a few more items here. 
I've got you covered. We have a $1,000 donation Woo. from Ryuji. Oh. Saying longtime watcher and longtime donator, but this year has gotten so busy with work that I can barely keep up with the event. But fret not, here's a bit to chip in to kill the animals and save the frames. And a big shout out to Doctors Without Borders. Keep up the good work, especially in these troubling times. What a tremendously generous donation. That is wonderful. And to a good cause, obviously. Like, Obviously, uh, Doctors Without Borders, but to kill the animals? Are you kidding me? That's like a thousand dollars worth of frame saving that I could get behind. Yes, we do. <laughs> Way to go, sassy. <laughs> Oh, Sefi, we're a remiss. What is this? Where is Behemoth huh? going? Uh, uh, Behemoth, uh, I'm just kidding. Now, actually, Behemoth does a different route to collect his power bombs early. So this isn't so, this isn't bad at all. Um, but it is great to see uh, diverging routes. And you'll see here that this is actually going to have Behemoth not backtrack into... Uh, a room that uh, you'll see the runners reach uh, in like a minute or two. Um, so it's really just mostly a preference, not so much really a big time save. Uh, here we go. And uh, for up until they come back to this same room where Behemoth is with the caterpillars or the caterpies, ooh, wants to be careful, does not want to take a hit from them. Uh, that's when the rats will converge. Uh, right, once you are, more. Sefi. That's a pretty recent discovery, as you said. It did enable Zos to claim the world record in the world's first 112 in this category. My goodness. But uh, these three runners are just incredible uh, as they get ready to face off against the first major boss of the game. That is Kraid. Uh, we can talk a little bit about our runner's experience. Uh, Behemoth, Oats, and Zenny have all had multiple world records, as uh, Sefi mentioned in the introduction. But uh, but it looks like uh couldn't get that in fast enough there, viewers. We got Craig Quick Kill getting ready. Going to go with the missile opener, two missiles, and then finish off with three supers. Beautiful from Oats and Goats. Everyone else executing just perfectly. Very nice from Zenny. Behemoth, though, trailing, but he has picked up those power bombs already. No problem whatsoever. He's into Kraid's warehouse, but really nice. A pair, pair of quick kills from those runners. What'd you think of that, Sefi? A great job. Yes, yeah, Stellar. Oh, I, I mean, honestly... It's a uh, it's a big time save and it, it's a nuisance because that most of the boss fights if you let them go on for longer they will get out of control and uh, it's kind of hard to back them up sometimes. So we did see the advantage of picking up those alpha power bombs for Behemoth. He's able to grab the Kraid's warehouse missiles. Meanwhile, Oats and Goats and Shiny Zenny are going to have to backtrack long, long after they leave uh, Norfair to grab those, uh, grab that missile pack. So we'll see if Behemoth can execute the crate quick kill here. We've seen some really sharp movements, Sefi, from all three of these runners. No major mistakes so far. Uh, maybe a little bit in parlor from, uh, from Zenny, but other than that, just really, these three runners are putting on a clinic. Look at that crate quick kill from Behemoth. Yeah, really good job, uh, Behemoth there. And honestly, I mean, what more can you expect? Like you have the top, the top runners here, the creme de la creme of anything. Uh, and yeah, again, I want to point out if you're just joining us that Behemoth is not necessarily behind. He just ended up taking a different route and is going to be saving uh, a little bit of time over the others uh, in different rooms uh, that will eventually like equal out by the time that they reach the, uh, the Red Tower segment again. Um, but yeah, uh, hockey, this is, uh, 
what I've heard to be argued the most difficult segment in terms of movement, um, just because you start getting your your movement items, you know, you have uh, you'll see that they're going to pick up speed booster momentarily and um, they just got high jump and that already, you know, throws a little bit of a wrench into their movement. So it's kind of like a, a game of adapting uh until they could get you know warmed up to the movement again no doubt about it Sefi. we have adapt and overcome is on our runners minds as they traverse through norfair with that varius suit gift after defeating Kraid, they've got protection in superheated rooms they can traverse most of norfair during this norfair cleanup section but once they get that speed booster Sefi. Not only will their speed be boosted, but they're going to be able to execute so many different types of movement. Uh, one of the most important ones being the Shine Spark. So they'll be able to move diagonally, horizontally, vertically. That's pretty much it. But uh, you see now, see Zenny climbing that Bubble Mountain. Oats and Goats also summiting Bubble Mountain on their way to Speed Booster. So looking really sharp so far really looking forward to as our runners strap up with these movement items their movement just becomes more and more bonkers as you alluded to Sefi. and uh our good friend professor school if i borrow a term that he would use to describe the movement of this game especially with this item set it is poetry in motion yeah that that right there is poetry too what you just said shout out to professor school uh schooling us with the vernacular speed booster <laughs> get uh yeah you know like i said earlier a lot of these uh names for some items a little bit silly you know because they kind of are a little bit redundant speed booster allows you to speed boost <laughs> to go fast it's like john madden you know wrote these names for these uh for these items Absolutely, Sefi, absolutely. So yeah, the speed booster will enable the runners to boost their speed, <laughs> travel quicker, but also move faster. All three of those for the low, low price of free if you can summit Bubble Mountain, which Behemoth just did in beautiful fashion with a beautiful de-boost off that waiver. I'm gonna ask you right now, Hockey, what do you think the wave beam does? What does the wave beam do? I mean, it waves. Let's wave to all the people, Sefi. Exactly. Wave beam pickup. Hello, GDQ and Smile welcome. and wave. Smile and wave. The smile and wave beam, Sefi. Oh, I love it. Right. And so, <laughs> okay. So another thing to make note of is um, normally, uh, well, I guess in a more beginner route, they would be hitting up. Uh, your boy Krokomar that's right right now because they're gonna go they're gonna escape and they're gonna try to go uh, head towards the wrecked ship to kill their second boss however uh, they actually it is faster to do that later only because uh, there is a pixel perfect strat that they will be utilizing that allows them to clip into to get an item uh, a little bit later into the run so Wave goodbye to that uh, to that Gerber baby that is Krokermeyer. I promise you, we will see him much, much later. We've got a we've got a cool down for us, you know. When you have a lot of uh, speed and wavy items, of course, you're gonna want to cool down and get the coolest item of them all, quite literally. <laughs> the absolute coolest item, absolutely right, Sefi. Our runners heading through a little bit more of Norfair to grab that ice beam. You know, turn that ice beam into a nice beam, Sefi, because as you said, they're going to be able to bypass Croc for now and execute that beautiful trick known as the ice clip. You know, I would say that's exactly why they pick up the wave beam first, so that they can wave past Croc goodbye and look cool doing it. That's, you make an interesting <laughs> point, a very important point, Sefi. It's not, it's not enough in Super Metroid to go fast. You gotta look cool doing it. And our runners are cooler than the other side of the pillow, uh, as a very famous sports, uh, sportscaster would say. <laughs> um, now, with that, of course, uh, yeah, Behemoth is actually gonna, I, I already skipped Croc. Uh, they're heading up Red Tower right now, and we're going to get some sparky action right now. And I know you love those sparks, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> you know I do. 
the Alpha Spark executed by Shiny Zenny. Oh, oh it's my goes with another gosh. one. We got two for two here, Steffi. Oh my goodness. Can we get the Behemoth's triple double? Gonna bring it on home. <laughs> He's going to bring it on home. Look at this climb from Shiny Zenny. Oats and Goats impressing with those ledge grabs. The movement of this game, Sefi, is so complex, I don't have the processing power to even begin to explain it. I'm just going to throw it to you. You, t you, <laughs> you you carry that load. You do all the hard work. Oh, my goodness. Hockey, This that's too much to, for me to bear. Honestly, I <laughs> uh, my brain is cooking right now. Uh, I mean, just coming out of Norfair, probably one of the hottest spots on this planet. No doubt. Um, you see that Zenny and Oats just picked up their uh, their alpha power bomb. Something that Behemoth, you know, just one step ahead of the curve, just said, you know what, I'm gonna get these first. Uh, I got this, and we'll you'll see them uh, actually make up time in uh, when they go back to the. Uh, to the Kraid miss. Oh no! Oh, so close. It's still good to see. I feel so. That's um also another thing. When you mention Shine Sparks being bonkers, uh, that is what Samus <laughs> does. She literally yeah. does bonk into walls. The crash animation of that Shine Spark can be pretty costly uh, for time on a missed trick like that. But Behemoth's still looking uh, razor sharp, heading all the way up. He's up through, or he's about to be up through to beta power bombs. Shiny Zenny though, already outside the ship, looking for this ocean fly spark. He's gonna spark across the room known as the moat and the west ocean on his way to the wrecked ship. We've talked about shine sparking. We've talked about moonfall damage boosting though. We are gonna see some amazing damage boosting. We already have so far. Ooh, Zenny just barely missing that ocean fly. Let's see if Oats can pull it off. Right, um, it is uh, a little bit of a tighter window, but it's preference for uh, for these runners to go for a a charge shot method to open that door. It's uh, honestly, I applaud the attempt because they're going for the absolute swaggiest strats. Just overall impress, uh, I don't know, very impressive what they're uh, attempting that Behemoth is actually going to go for. And I feel like Behemoth's already made a good amount of time on them. Oh yeah, no doubt about it, Steffi. This is a pretty tight race so far. He's got the charge shot off. Meanwhile, Oats and Zenny into the wreck ship. The lights are off, but the ghost is home. The ghost with the most reset runs. Fantoon is the boss of the wreck ship. Steffi, is he perhaps the biggest troll in this entire game? Yes, uh, we do sometimes call him Fan Troll for a reason <laughs> because this is the very RNG heavy boss. This is the one where expect to reset. Not during GDQ, of course. I really hope that can <laughs> yeah, be muscle memory. <laughs> uh, but this boss will cause you some frost, some frustration. And I, I, I see honestly being able to get a two round with missiles using Doppler strats. Oh, good pattern right there. Let me see the air drop. Zenny. Wow. A master. What an incredible fight from Shiny Zenny and a really nice Doppler from Oats and Goats there just delivering all of that ammunition. And uh, Sefi, I think Behemoth got Ocean Fly, but I'm not 100% sure. Yes, he did. Heck I yeah, do to want to make sure that does not go unnoticed that Behemoth uh, playing out of, uh, out of his mind right now and just doing exceptional. Look at also that from good. Oats and Goats. Beautiful fight. Another two round. That's what we like seeing uh, in these uh, in these races. Two round Fantoons. I'm gonna see Behemoth try to go for it. He... Oh, got a slow pattern on that. Oh no, that was a mid. I'm sorry. I misspoke. That is a mid pattern. Finishing off Fantoon. My goodness, Sefi. Oh, three for gosh. three two round Fantoons. Are you joking me right now? I wish I could say that I was joking, but I don't joke around. Never, never. And neither do these runners. Neither do these runners. <laughs> no, are, this game they is... They are cool professionals, quiet professionals. I don't hear a thing from them, but you know, that's okay because they are just locked in for the next hour or so. 
on this game. It is a run of attrition. The wreck ship is one of the more challenging sections. You have to manage health going into the Fantoon fight. Uh, all of the rooms in wreck ship, especially that attic, and also coming up here, the spiky room of death, it lives up to its name, Sefi. Uh, I really hope that it doesn't at this in this <laughs> race in particular, just because we can finally be able to put that name to rest and just prove to everyone that it it's simply just a room with spikes. <laughs> no death. It's a it's spike. It's a room for Spike oh, Vegeta. I'll go. say that. That's how Spike. <laughs> that's, that's where Spike hangs out on the weekends. That's awesome. This this is exactly yes. This is actually uh, Spike Vegeta's uh, oh, bathtub, if you will. Look at all that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't mean to judge here, Looking Spike. Great, but I think though. you're I oh, think gosh. your pad needs some renovations. This place there's a lot of a lot of bare wires, uh, a lot of sparks, but. Uh, this is a pretty tough horizontal bomb jump to grab this E-Tank. We saw Zenny execute it beautifully. Oats and Goat, same thing. Behemoth hot on the heels of the other two racers in this unbelievable race. My oh goodness, Sefish. They did really well getting that uh, that bomb jump. It's so tricky on the timing. Um, that, that bomb jump is awkward. Behemoth... With the nice safe uh, double bomb jump there, it would execute that uh, perfectly. And Zenny also had an incredible attic. That's right. Strat the top right of the wreck ship is the attic. You have to destroy all the enemies to unlock both of the doors. And Zenny just did beautifully, clipping through both of those worker robots. Zenny really setting the pace here. Uh, Oats and Goats and Behemoth are not far behind at all, though. But let's see Oates' attempt here at the attic. Oh, couldn't quite get that spark off. He's going to go with the backup, the speed key. Beautiful job unlocks the door. Oh my goodness. My goodness. I mean, these runners have got it all. We love the variation in their strats and routing and just the absolute precision and accuracy that they execute this game with. It's just, it's a sight to behold. There's nothing else I can say besides that. But I'm going to keep going. Just keep saying it, honestly. Like, yeah. No matter what you say, oh, Behemoth, also beautifully done. Almost nailing that speed keep as well. But, okay, so now that these runners have uh, picked up that wreck ship E-Tank, yes, the important part here is to avoid having to refill at the ship after wreck ship. So it's a different ship. It's Samus' non-wreck ship out of wreck ship. You want to maintain as much health as possible because getting a refill is a costly 15 seconds and we don't want that no we want we want speed and we want fast and we, we want, want it. it now and what we got now is we've got the bowling cutscene for shiny zenny you saw him with those charge shots Steffi, tell us about those charge shots there's something called robot flush that he executed Right, yes, um, and that's not even uh, designed by Tesla. It's all Super Metroid. <laughs> Robot Flush is actually going to uh, have a couple of charge shots that are aimed straight down into the ground, and they're going to put their robots in their position. So take that, Skynet. You'll see what I'm talking about right now because they're going to be tucked away in a couple of uh, a couple of little holes that uh, that the game intends you to push them into using shots right now. Oh, oh my gosh, Zenny actually got it. Zenny and it's with a the tight double, strat too. The double robot flush. Well, Behemoth and Oats and Ghosts, we wish them well on their robot flushes of their own. Uh, Zenny going to grab that reserve tank. How about time for a quick donation? Absolutely. Well, it looks like, by the way, as far as this goes, Team Save the Animals out to a more than $5,000 lead. I'm kind of oh surprised. I still God. thought Kill the Animals was going strong, but, you know, it's courtesy of donations like these, a $500 donation from Thinker2112 that says, Kill the Space Pirates, Save the Animals. My goodness, thank you so much for your generosity. Save with an almost 5K lead. My goodness. I saw Oats there did get robot flush, but Zenny with that swaggy suit, Sefi, that purple gravity suit, I thought that was just a hermetically sealed case of pancakes there hiding in the wrecked ship, but instead it's the coolest suit in the game. It could be it could be the very pancakes. Uh, so after uh, <laughs> Bell stole the rose 
from or you know broke the curse of the beast they ended up That's replacing right. it with pancakes <laughs> <laughs> So, oh my goodness. Honestly, I should actually start getting that, uh, putting, like serving my pancakes that way. Yeah, it's a great way to store them. They last forever. <laughs> that they do. Oh, okay. But uh, so here's that health management, and Zenny's actually going to set up for a wraparound shot. You're going to this is strat is actually hinted at in the game demos, but. Uh, the AI wasn't so good back then, so you just see it bonk into the door. But not Zenny, or not any of these runners. You'll see right now, perhaps one of the coolest Shine Sparks in the game. Look at that. Oh, I didn't quite make it all the I way through. I think just because, rather not... Oh, so another thing about that is, uh, Zenny's probably going to blame me for that one. He said so. He's going to say, I'm going to blame you. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, true. <laughs> you don't want to spark, be stuck midair, and then get grabbed by one of those yapping mods, and then it drags you into oh, the yeah. lava. So good and smart play right there to just take it safe. It looks like Oats is set up for the same thing. He's got good energy count. He's going to pop that reserve and spark all the way across. Now, Behemoth not having an angle down button has a totally different setup oh for that wraparound to get that, that screen wrap. And perfect oh. execution from Oats and Goats, but here goes Behemoth. Behemoth making up a lot of time. Uh, so Zenny ended up getting what I think Oats is about to get as well. Oh, oh my, my God, God. <laughs> yes, yes, let's go. Okay, so uh, they just ended up getting a strat that we cannot say on this stream so i'm just gonna call it the samus expert master or if you want something more wholesome the teletubby huggy i don't know <laughs> the teletubby huggy you heard it here first gdq that is canonical that is the canonical name for that strat now oh my guy Seffi, we had two out of three <laughs> <laughs> of the TTH executed perfectly from Oats and Goats and Shiny Zenny. Behemoth uh, almost got it. He, both, they came down the, the section known as Gauntlet to grab those double missile packs. None of them had to wrap all the way around. And now, if I just take a deep breath, Sefi, we're headed back to Green Brinstar for some cleanup. Oh, I mean, this is a good time to wind down. Um, yeah, and essentially this is cleanup. Uh, so they're just gonna end up picking up what they uh, left behind. Uh, they Samus ended up feeling, you know what? Uh, why not take home a couple of more E tanks and everything else, you know, left behind? So it's it's cool. Hockey. I don't know how you feel about this part, but we're gonna end up seeing the animals right That's now, right. Uh, the ones that they're gonna have to save. They. The Do you have any affection towards the animals? Like, how do you feel? I, honestly, I'm I'm kind of the uh, I'm not very popular for this opinion in the Super Metroid speedrun community. I adore the animals. The Decora teaches you how to shine spark. The Etacoons teach you how to wall jump. Now I couldn't pick up what they were trying to teach me because they're a you know, 14 pixel tall sprite, and I didn't really understand wall jumping until much later. But you know what? <laughs> I give them credit for trying. I don't malign them for wanting to show me something so cool like wall jumping. Yeah, I'm more of uh, if Lassie showed up and tried to warn me that someone fell down the well, <laughs> and I had to wall jump back up, and the you know the decor had taught me how to shine spark up out of the well. That would probably I can learn, you know, from that. Absolutely. But but I don't know about Edicoons. They didn't do so much uh, trying to teach me <laughs> that. Oh my goodness. But sure, I'll col I'll collect a, a plushie. Yeah. Absolutely. From the GDQ gift shop. Oh, nice. Yeah, that. Nice Mission Impossible <sighs> strat right there. We do there. love that Mission Impossible strat. Hanging from the ceiling, jumping up before the crumble block reappears. Zenny is on a blistering pace right now. Uh, let's see Oats and Goats, if he could get Mission Impossible here. And uh, yeah, Zenny's already grabbing the wave tank. Oh, that crumble block. Oh, but, yeah. But uh, Behemoth, hot on the heels of Oats and Goats. Things are unfolding beautifully for all three runners, Sefi. I can't say it enough. I'm probably going to take it in the teeth in Chad because I just can't help but talk about how great these runners are. 
it's um always you know you mentioned it earlier a sight to behold whenever any of these runners does a run um uh, and then having them in a race setting i think just kind of amplifies that uh that emotion uh because you get to see triple doubles of every strat we just saw you know uh the strat over there in the back of gauntlet uh and there's plenty more to to come honestly oh, yeah. because we're only just uh in the middle of the of the run no question about it, Sefi. We are in the middle. We're in this Brinstar cleanup. We saw those Spore Spawn missiles get picked up the back way. Our runners had to have power bombs and supers to get that, so they're getting those now because that's the most convenient time to get them. And you see those charge missile, uh, the charge missile pickup right above charge beam. And simply, Sefi, it's faster to do it now. Yeah, a lot, that's an explanation for a lot of these threads. <laughs> you know, like, I used to ask, oh, why do you do this? And they just say, because it's faster. That's it. That is the uh, the it. ultimate response to anything in Super Metroid speedrunning and a lot of other speed games as well. Um, but yeah, poor Sports Bond just getting uh, skipped over yet again. Like, not only do you, you know, skip like sequence break once because you got to pick up the early supers right and the, that just denies uh sport spawn in the original run but then you got to do it again and you know have the nerve to steal sport spawn's item the nerve by the clipping audacity to go through the back door and uh grab those supers from sport spawn it, just sitting up there just swinging away just waiting for samus but never to never to be seen Okay, now coming oh, up, I know time. is one of your big favorite time. strats. I love this one. We're going to see Zenny set up for it first, I believe. Oh, but little tiny door bonk denies Zenny that trick. How about Oats and Behemoth? We got two more tries, Sefi. Oh, I can't wait. It's, uh, I mean, I, do you want to reveal the name for it after they one of them gets it? Oh, I really hope they get it. I, I hope so. I really do. I feel like we're we're turning the hype up to eleven here for such <laughs> a great trick after the so-called new bridge. Oh, Oats just getting oh a gosh. little tripped up there outside of the door. My goodness gracious! It's up to Behemoth. It rests entirely on his shoulders. Zenny already into Meridia going with that Main Street Spark. Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh, god. Netflix Take has completely bankrupted Blockbuster. Oh my gosh, Sefi. No Blockbuster this game executed was... in this runs. That's it. Roll it back. Uh, get the next run started. It, we can't continue like this, Sefi. I, oh, I really wanted to watch Waterworld, <laughs> which is the segment that these runners are in right now. <laughs> but now I gotta settle for the Netflix adaptation of oh Waterworld. Oh my gosh, the B <laughs> starring, movie. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Kevin Costner who is starring as Samus and Gene Triplehorn as Mama Turtle and Dennis Hopper as Shaq Tool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't believe it. Well, GDQ, you heard it here first. Uh, bit different adaptation of Waterworld, definitely available at your local streaming service, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, we're into Meridia. I think, Sefi, this might be the most technically demanding section of the game. Yes, um, this one is a, I, I would say it's a nightmare. It's beautiful, you know. I think it doesn't stress the runners out too much because the vibe is kind of is kind of cool, you know. It's, it's um, Oh, big time. It's not as uh, stressful as some of the other themes. But yes, even then, like, it's, uh, it's it can be deceptive because you have... You have you have sparks, but you also have a couple of speed balls that are a little tough to execute. It's just all in like the tiny, tiny movement. Oh no, no question about it, Sefi. I believe that this section, this Meridia section, we might see either a lead change or we might see Zenny uh, capitalize and increase his lead just because those tiny mistakes can be so costly in this section. And uh, this is definitely the part of the run where any of these three runners, despite how good they are, are likely to gain or lose time. Yeah. Hockey, would you say that you hope that their uh, Meridia segment goes uh, swimmingly? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, I know, I, I, I do. <laughs> Absolutely, I want it to go so swimmingly. <laughs> you see Senny picking up, uh, he just went to the old watering hole, <laughs> Seffi, to pick up that super pack and that missile right after going to the beach. All our runners picking up those beach missiles. Uh, Meridia <laughs> technically demanding and also with some really well hidden items, but I would be absolutely astonished if either of these three if any of these three runners forgot an item so hopefully we didn't just commentary curse them fingers crossed but it's been it's been a heck of a show so far Sefi. it oh my gosh and we're coming up right now with pretty much back-to-back -back bosses uh we're gonna see our uh favorite wet noodle uh batwoon <laughs> Oh, if you had to have a favorite, <laughs> Botwoon is definitely the favorite to pick. Yeah, Sec close second is Elmo's setup. Mr. Noodle, but this one, I think this one takes it for now. Oh my gosh, so Tiny Zeddy opening with the special beam combo known as the X-Factor, wave beam only selected, and defeating Botwoon in a single round. An incredible fight from Zenny. But Oats and Goats of Behemoth are just locked in a dog fight right now for second place. Uh, trying to catch up to Zenny, who is just absolutely blazing through this game. Look at this setup for the the greatest trick name in the game. He's got the Shine Spark. He's across, oh my goodness. He's across the Coliseum, Sefi. <sighs> Look at the strategy from Oats and Goats using those heat-seeking decalled strats, as it's called. Shoutouts to decalled for that X Factor. And Behemoth also. That's three one-round, oh, Sefi. Triple threat right there. Triple. Stamp it. D no, no stamp. No. <laughs> triple Wait. stamp it. No stamp. You can't triple stamp it. Double stamp. Seppi. All, all these triples, I swear, Gene Triple Horn is just somewhere applauding. Oh my. Oh. Oh, almost had it, but that was a good attempt. Still got a halfie. Uh, again, so that these are the strats that honestly can cost you time, and it's why Meridia is such. It's a, such a messy segment uh, because it requires precision. Uh, not that these runners don't have it. It's just Meridia, I feel, uh, grows sentient and knows, yeah. uh, knows what Meridia is doing. Meridia oh. can smell your fear, Sefi. How about that fight from Shiny Zenny? Uh, we can't even talk about it, Sefi. It's already over. Oh, it's already. You blink once and you miss the, uh, the dread suit that, you know, Deer Force knew that the dread suit. Uh, was gonna be blue. See, look at that. Sandy's just no showing doubt. off. Uh, no doubt. The first peak at uh, at Metroid Dread. Wow. We still got two runners though. Gonna fight Dragon, the third of four major bosses of this game. Opening with that X Factor. Behemoth does a little bit different setup, known as the Rain Dance. Look at the way the particles dance around, and then executing that Shine Spark. Dragon, the only enemy in the game, I believe, or the only boss, I should say, Correct. that takes damage from Shine Sparking. And you know, it's been speculated, like this is just like Super Metroid Iceberg Terror. Oh my gosh, Oats with the spike suit too. Way to go, uh, Oats. It's been speculated that they think maybe in some early prototype, you were supposed to fight Dragon with um, with uh, Shine Sparks or something oh, no like that. Oh, no kidding. Because- That would be incredible. I mean, it just, it's kind of interesting. I feel like it's because of the grapple, uh, you know, and the electrocution. That's why sure. Dragon takes damage from Shine Sparks. But it's kind of like a neat idea to toy with, you know, you know, just to kind of entertain that, you know, what if you're almost, you can almost Shine Spark in that room, you know, because they do use uh, short charging. Uh, which is a, a speedrunner tech that just kind of exploits how the game checks for uh, speed booster echoes. Right, you but, are, Sefi. Uh, but we saw both runners, they missed the full halfy on the way in the spark across the Coliseum, but they got a spike suit from Dragon. They managed to get a double train. <laughs> oh my gosh, unintentional spoonerism. Double frame perfect trick to store a spark without having to run at all. And that's how they got back across the Coliseum. So that was about two hours ago that they executed that trick because they're <laughs> <know>. already <laughs> into the next segment of Meridia. 
please slow down. I, I need to ask them to slow down. No uh, kidding. Like, can, can we play this back in slow motion? My goodness, this is incredible. Look at this ice clip. That's the ice clip. Oh you my god, that's the ice clip. Photo. That's the one that we skipped Krokemeyer for uh, to save time. Incredible, incredible. So Zenny gets to just chill and wait for the hardest working robot on planet Zebus to clear Samus a path to the greatest item or perhaps the most polarizing item in Super Metroid. Meanwhile, both of our other runners, Oats to Goats and Behemoth, picking up those sand pit items. They are hot on Zenny's heels. We saw a little blue bomber, a speed keep, a speed mm -hmm. echo keep to break some blocks to get down faster to that sand pit. Right, if you unmorph, you can actually retain that. Um, it's just how they made it work. But I mean, enough about that. We're gonna pick up the best item right now. Just enjoy the fruits of your labor. Zenny. Ooh, Oats missed the setup. He's gonna have to restart the room. Behemoth, though, using that esoteric setup, kind of flipping through. Oh, Oats gonna have to reload oh the room again. This is tough. This is really tough. Uh, we're we're probably past the halfway point here, but if anybody can catch up, it's gonna be Oats and Goats. He's got it on the oh, third nice try. Job. Way to go, Oats. Gonna get into that shack tool room. My again, that... Steffi. That strat is uh, pixel perfect because you have to freeze that little enemy at the right, the right time, the right height in order to get that clip. It is just such a punishing trick. It's high risk, high reward. Uh, otherwise, these runners would have to run a completely different route. They would have to go to Krakenmeyer early and get Ice Beam late to get that grapple beam because there's a crumble grapple block right outside of Spring Ball. Correct. So Behemoth has got the spring ball. Oats and Goats trying to sp speed it up, Shaq Tool. I know you're union, but let's go. Get off. <laughs> Get to work. My goodness. He's just trying to make an honest living. He just dig, he dig, is. dig. You know that, hockey. Yup. Gotta <laughs> dig, 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 Steffi. Gotta. <laughs> and, so Zenny's uh, into a tough room here, Steffi. The plasma beam, the most powerful beam in the game. He's got to defeat all these pink plasma guarding pirates to continue. Look at the damage boosting. Look at the shots oh, being fired. That is absolutely bonkers. That room was actually worked on by a brain trust, if you will, of just exceptional <laughs> elite top tier runners. If I could just shout them out really quick. Uh, some of them are running right now, Zenny, Behemoth. But others like C. Scotty W and Hoda Ruby, uh, the OG, uh, also contributed to that strat. So incredible, incredible, incredible stuff. I love the brain trust. I love the Super Metroid speedrun community. It is a wholesome, comfy community full of great runners that work together, just trying to be the fastest in the game. Behemoth now setting up for that plaza room. Oats having gone up that tube with paying the super missile toll, he's gonna be into the so-called pancake room. Those pancake enemies are pretty tough, but not for a runner of Oats's caliber. Zenny though, heading back to the section known as Aqueduct, Sefi, he's got more items to get. Yes, uh, so it's gonna be the last few items because we're just about done with Meridia and uh, as, uh, as chill as it is of a vibe <laughs> here. Oh. I think uh, I think we're good to go. Um, let's see. <laughs> Another thing to make note, remember those early power bombs that Behemoth picked up? So, yeah, uh, Oats and Zenny are gonna have to double dip into Crate Slayer. Oh my gosh, you're right, Sefi. Yeah, Behemoth did run that newer route. He's gonna be able to bypass that section entirely. Right. Um, it's um, it's commonly done right, uh, coming right out of uh, Meridia. You can also do it coming out of Lower Norfair. Oh, that was a beautiful uh, attack attack alley right there for Oats. Oh, no question about it. Cack attack alley is a deceptively hard room. We also saw that beautiful blue bomber speed echo keep from Behemoth to get through those uh, speed blocks to get two more minor item pickups, the supers and the regular missiles. Ooh, Oats, oh, it's gonna, ooh, gonna go Be with careful. the here. Oh my gosh. That, <laughs> that was close, that there is soft lock potential 
if the runners get stuck between those speed blocks, but oh, it's masterfully going with the back up there. Yeah, that's uh, so many scary strats. Like, uh, your runs really wouldn't die, uh, you know, through enemies, but they can soft lock for sure. Uh, all right, so here we have Zenny dipping right back into Kraid's lair. That's right. So having completed the, I guess the more common of the two routes, especially how new the kind of early power bombs route is, you know, Zenny and Oats are both going to have to grab that missile pack. But Behemoth is just going to be able to just keep on going to Norfair. We've got one major section of the game left that we haven't seen, Sefi, and it's potentially the most lethal. It's uh, it's hard hitting. I can imagine people just getting their cat jams ready as well. Oh yeah. As we head into like some banger territory, uh, because if you can feel the race ambience anywhere, it's gonna be when these runners are in Lower Norfair. You're gonna see uh, a mini boss. You're gonna see a couple of cool shine sparks. And then perhaps my favorite uh, boss fight is the Ridley fight, just because of it, it's almost like a, a waltz, if you will. Oh yeah. Just dance, this, it's a dragon dance. It's very ritualistic. It's been, <laughs> uh, it's, it's oh, I don't know, it's such grace. Uh, such a especially graceful Especially when fight. you have the, the movement of these runners. Look at the sync here between Behemoth and Zenny, nearly synced up entering. Lower Norfair entrance. Oats, though, into Kraid's warehouse, picking up that missile pack. So he's, Oats has a little bit of work to do here. He's got to really hit the afterburners here. Uh, it's a tough segment coming up here for Behemoth and Zenny, so if there's any time to capitalize for Oats, it's going to be now. No doubt. Like when Stefani, by the way. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, uh, like... The, the run just doesn't get any easier, no. you know, uh, in terms of movement. They just get the it's so awkward. Like you're going to see right now the blue fireball uh, speed strat. And even then, that's a little finicky to try to to try to time in terms of like keeping your momentum and space jumps. Let's see if uh, Zen and Behemoth get it. Oh, nice job right there. Oh, that was Beautiful just bounce. brilliant movement there. Look at the <laughs> look at that spring ball jump with a speed ball draining the acid so they can make their way down to the golden Terezo missiles, Sefi. It's a it's a classic uh, classic tricky item here, just like we saw at the bottom of Green Brinstar, where there's just an E tank with a false floor. Well, there's crumble blocks right in front of this missile. Our runners are gonna have to be extra careful. Oh, Zenny, no. with the spring ball across. Behemoth going with a bit safer, just space jumping across to grab that missile. And uh, yeah, this this mini boss is kind of a foregone, foregone conclusion, Sefi. It's uh, with this item loadout, it's quite easy. Yeah, no, and with for this mini boss, you honestly just want to make uh, make GT think that you're groveling at its feet. <laughs> when and all honestly, it's just a cheese oh, strat. Yeah. Just really good positioning. That is brilliant stuff. Uh, what do you think, Sefi? We got time for a quick donation? Yes, uh, yes we oh do. Oh my actually. goodness, there are so many coming in right now. By the way, oh. Save the Animals has about a $4,800 lead oh, over a kill. But the people who've been donating, I mean, Anonymous, with a $4,000 donation. What? <laughs> yeah. There's, there's so many of these. It's a nice Teletubby Huggy Oats kill the animals. <laughs> Sly donated $1,000 saying save the animals is the canon choice. Save them so Samus can escape in fusion. And then Shy Guy 32 $2,000 saying loving the oh absolute mastery on display in this Super Metroid race, donating towards Demon Souls. Let Let's see that happen and just tons of huge donations coming in right now that is incredible so a little bit of ground being made up wow. on uh save the animals but not much man thank you all for your generosity some heavy hitting donations there just like oats is gonna pound gold Teresa with these charged plasma shots seriously 
of that uh, that Demon Souls donation for a couple <laughs> of speed demons here no with some real it. soul. No doubt about it. Honestly, the great thing though about Lore Norfer is that you do have access to uh, the former home of the angry video game nerd, <laughs> the screw attack item. So that makes this, all of this just easy to blaze quite through. Literally. Like, quite literally. Yeah, screw attack is definitely a comfy item, Steffi. It used to be a comfy time, you know, when I watched this video. <laughs> no too, doubt like about it. No <laughs> doubt about it. A good time in, uh, good time in the internet history for sure. But uh, Zenny and Behemoth, they're now in the dogfight together. Zenny going to be going in against the yes. Metal Pirates. They've got Kung Fu fighting, but uh, Sefi, you never want to bring jump kicks and uh, Kung Fu moves to a to an arm cannon fight, especially with the full beam combo. No, yeah, you're right. I, I'm pretty sure Carl Douglas advises <laughs> against that. Oh my gosh. You know what? I, I feel like out of all the enemies, I think Ridley might be, for lack of a better word, the most, the least intelligent because he's just kind of sitting there in his own rotisserie, just waiting, just you know, just him. getting cooked. <laughs> 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 it's just this, this oh my space gosh. pelican just waiting. <laughs> brain said, set it die. and forget it, Sefi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if if Ridley's anything, any mean, oh, yeah. it's the this is fine dog, and it's just <laughs> his world is just burning around him, and he just doesn't know it. It's like this allegory That's for right. and this death your, your death for is two imminent. Of our runners Ridley, here. they're um, finding the broken baby Metroid <laughs> capsule and an E tank, just like in the original Metroid game. But Oats and Goats is into. Almost into the metal pirates here. He's going to give them the business. And meanwhile, Behemoth and Zenny are continuing to impress. They're now beginning their lower Norfair escapes. Yeah, probably one of the uh, the better sections uh, is escaping because that means you're done with lower Norfair. You got revenge on Ridley. That's uh, right. You're still in panic mode because you don't know where your baby Look is. Look at the spring ball but strats up right. through <laughs> these spiky platforms. Laying the power bomb is Behemoth and going to clip through the top of that statue and damage boost off that Diskiga. Incredible stuff from both these runners. Then he did it too. Oats and Ghost, though, is locked in Mortal Kombat with that with that rotisserie chicken. I don't know. Rotisserie <laughs> pelican, maybe. <laughs> it's going to... He's got Oates has uh, a couple of fall off the bone <laughs> recipes ready for uh, <laughs> for Ridley. Well, Ridley I think Oates has turned it up to high heat. Nothing low and slow about his gameplay in that Ridley fight. That was a brilliant fight. Got it. Huh. Nice job. And also, we saw Zenny get the D boost off of this fire flea that Behemoth oh, is wow. getting too. Good backup uh, from Behemoth there because I know Zenny likes to use that frozen flea as right. a platform. Oh, and if there's any true like tribute to one of the veterans of Super Metroid speedrunning, it's this room. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Oh wow! Brilliant stuff. Oh man, it would definitely warm the cockles of my heart, Sefi. I mean, Hoda Ruby is one of the biggest OG names in Super Metroid, especially in this category. And uh, it's just amazing that a strat with his name on it is still used in 2021 by top level runners. It's just a, a, a fitting tribute to a legendary runner. Mm-hmm. You know what's so funny though is that that room wasn't even <laughs> named by Hoda Ruby. It was named by someone that else. Is, uh, they said, "Oh, this is, is just randomly the Hoda Ruby." Best, humility special. at That's its it. best from Hoda Ruby. Uh, no need to name a strat after myself. I'm gonna let the community do it for me because I'm the fastest. How about that? But uh, 
Hey, you have a you have something <laughs> named is, after you. It's actually it in is, this room uh, right here, right recently, now. I, I don't know if we're gonna see it though. I don't know if we're gonna see it. I doubt it. Our our runners can wall uh, jump. Uh, there's a little elevator in this section of Upper North Fair that if you don't know how to wall jump, you can still get to that reserve tank. But uh, yeah, a couple people in the community have affectionately called them hockey towers. So. <laughs> You're hockey tower because you tower over everybody with your oh my affection gosh. and oh your my support gosh. and your. You absolutely. That's exactly flattering. why they call it and, that. And humble me, Sefi. Thank you so much. I I really appreciate <laughs> it. But look at that D boost from Zenny across Bubble Mountain to get that missile pack. Oh, that's one of the best D boosts in the game, and I'm a huge fan of damage boosting. Right. If anything could be like the official swaggy. D boost it's no probably this it. one no doubt about it so oats is about to kiss lower norfair goodbye for the first time and the last time yeah he's probably gonna brush his teeth afterwards but but yeah what a good uh good segment right there for for no oats. doubt about it no doubt about it so now we we've, we've heard so much about this sefi We've heard about this mini boss. We're heading downtown. We're going down to what you called the crock pot. This is why we save the best for last. <laughs> this one the shot at poor Krakenmire. Oh my goodness. And just then like and that. then you're just gonna drop him, drop him into that broth and just just crank the heat. <laughs> <laughs> what I, I, I gotta ask you this though, Hockey. What do these runners and Croc have in common? Oh, that's a that's an incredible question, Sefi. I don't know. I can't come up with anything. They're both. They're all on fire. They are all <laughs> on fire. Another uh, fall off the bone recipe, though. If you oh, if you're into like no. Croc <laughs> it's so Chef fall Sefi. off the bone that even the bones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chef Sefi, uh, Paul Prudhomme would be proud right now. I mean, <laughs> Sefi is just serving up the the Norfair recipes. We got Upper Norfair, we, which is, you know, one variety. We got Lower Norfair, which is another variety. But the 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 common the commonality between the two, Sefi, we're talking tender, 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 fall off the bone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, I'm just I'm just talking about what's on screen. These runners are preparing it, so compliments to the chefs. Absolutely, absolutely. The, the, there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen, but the recipe is coming out perfect. <laughs> Oats and goats, absolutely devastating. Krakamar with that charge charge shot, full beam combination. Zenny though, going for that grapple beam. Look at that huge oh leap of gosh. faith with a mock ball into the grapple room. And watch this turnaround. The grapple beam's got the fastest velocity of any projectile in the game. He's just going to go boop and open up that door. I love it. Oh, I love that so much. Eat your heart out, Clint Eastwood. That's like the Clint Eastwood grapple. You know, it's like a space cowboy. <laughs> Absolutely, Seppi. Absolutely. So, Otsugo's trying to get this short charge, trying to store another spike suit, just like we saw against Dragon. I believe Zenny and Behemoth are both carrying spike suits. Correct. And Oats has it. Nice. That's all three runners. That's a really good save. Just in the last try, too, that Oats had to get it. Wow. Talk about clutch, Sefi. My goodness, that could gain him a significant amount of time. We're not going to see that until our runners pick up the X-ray scope. Uh, Zenny and uh, I should say Behemoth doing a little high five here at the cosine room. Look at that hail mary toss from Behemoth <laughs> to grab that grab that <laughs> missile. You talked about John Madden earlier, Sefi. I'm saying boom, tough acting <laughs> Behemoth there. Oh my gosh. The crazy thing about this uh, about this section, though, holding a spike suit, is that you honestly have to be really careful because you do not want to press up on your D-pad or angle up, uh, which is for a lot of people the the right. R button while you're midair because you will waste your spike suit and it's uh it's 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 just so bad it hurts it hurts, it hurts to lose a spike suit uh, the dragon spike suit you carry for a very short amount of time this you're just like 
traversing through like a third of the game carrying this spike suit going all the way <laughs> all the way from Crocomire grapple all the way back to red brinstar no <laughs> oh yeah so sadly oh it's really again just getting the spike suit is uh is a strat and a reward of itself but it um it really is not the easiest thing so shout outs to oh, oh zenny also i think behemoth still got it though sefi oh he does he does he does this could be a chance for behemoth to get some a huge chunk of time on zenny because zenny's already into the pre-x-ray room look at those spring ball jumps from behemoth oats wow. and goats though still into norfair he's heading all the way back up to the elevator Let's see it, Behemoth. Let's see that X-ray spark. Oh, look at the nice execution through job. the door. <laughs> Let's go. As early as possible. He just wanted to get rid of it. Just shot put himself right into the X-ray door. Oh, my goodness. Talk about Olympic trial athlete right there. The shot putting through the door. I love it, Sefi. <laughs> Oh, this has been a spellbinding race, Sefi. I hope everyone out there in viewer land has been enjoying this, as I've just had an absolute time. Uh, we, uh, we're coming up kind of on the tail end. You can see that they have so many energy tanks. They only have a few more pickups to make, Sefi. Uh, but we just got started like an hour ago. I can't believe it. Why can't this be like a 10 hour run like Kingdom Hearts, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, get that donation incentive. Uh, let's switch from killing and saving to make this, you know, 10 more hours. At least, at least, because, at least. Yeah. But honestly, yeah, this is just a cleanup uh, from here on out. There's not too many crazy uh, strats to name off. So if you want to squeeze in, I, I bet you, you know, those donations are just piling <laughs> up ready to pipeline burst. There's so many. If you want to read a couple. There's so many. We got a $1,500 donation from Jarhead271 that just said save the animals. The animals themselves, well, they donate $250. They say save us. Oh we God. were framed. <laughs> and then uh, Zeta Gundam donates $1,000 as well, saying thank you, friends, for another amazing GDQ. It's always a pleasure to contribute both my money and time to help GDQ fund great causes like MSF. Stay well and go fast. Also, let's keep this good thing going and save the animals. And uh, that speaks to about the $5,000 lead that saved the animals is it's hung oh, on to wow. for pretty much the entire run. Incredible. Set the tone early and maintain the lead. That is the name of the game in a save kill incentive, but also Super Metroid speedrun racing. Wow. Phenomenal stuff, Sefi. I, I, could you ever have seen this coming that in 2021, you would be asked to speak over three of the most superlative Super Metroid speedrunners raising money for MSF, broadcast to hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, it's just, it, it, it almost leaves me speechless. I, I couldn't have imagined it, much less dreamed it. I, it's been a thrill. We're coming up on the last stretch and it's, it's, it's been a fun time, Hockey, being able to just you know, riff on uh, on what this run is like and everything that, you know, the journey is uh, what made it the uh, Oh, no worthy question about it. It has been end. a journey. You see both of our both of our runners here in Old Mother Brain, Zenny and Behemoth grabbing those Old Mother Brain missiles. They're going to head up to the climb to grab a last super pack. Oats and Ghosts, though, heading to probably my favorite room in the entire game because I was Sefi, I was a huge fan of infomercials growing up, and we this room is the affectionately called the Billy Mays room. Oh, why? Why is it? Well, you see, you get the Mays missile pack, but wait, there's more for two for the price of one. We're doing BOGO missile packs now for the next thirty minutes, or I should say, thirty seconds even. But uh, yeah, oh, it's picking up both those missile packs, Sefi. He's gonna head to Old Mother Brain now. What a deal. What a deal. What a deal he struck himself. And uh, honestly, like this, we're coming up on the last item that Zenny and Behemoth are gonna pick up, aptly named the Cavity Missiles. <laughs> Tell us uh, why it's because... called that. <laughs> <laughs> because Tooth Hurdy? <laughs> <laughs> 
would actually bring them up to 230 missiles. But I got to piggyback off of that because I would say that after seeing such sweet movement, of course you're going to develop a cavity. And it's uh, <laughs> it makes sense to end on the cavity oh missile. Oh my because... gosh, you talked about Oats brushing his teeth. It's because all three runners' movement is so sweet. Look at Behemoth, though, taking a slim lead oh. here going into the Golden Four. Oh my room. gosh. This is really getting exciting between these two runners. Oats and Goats with that beautiful Shine Spark across Old Mother Brain, keeping a Shine Spark up the elevator from Retro Brinstar. And our runners, these these runners have just been putting on a display, a gratuitous speed running display, Sefi. And now Oates is not that far behind, but uh, Behemoth and Zenny get to take a little breather for this cutscene. Yeah, Oates has been doing his thing. And uh, it's just part of it was uh, the Fantoon patterns as well that, you know, there's so much to take into consideration and the optimization on such a, you know, such a level that just the tiniest tiniest things that you don't even notice they they wouldn't even have to necessarily be mistakes it's just um it's just everything's always ha happened oh, yeah. so fast oh yeah i'll say that you you can't really control you know what happens around you you can only con control uh you know how early you're landing and how late you're morphing and how late you're sparking and all of that just you know, ooh, really good mock oh, ball love though. It. Right there for love Oats. Love to see that from Oats and Goats, but Zenny and Behemoth, Sefi, they're in to Torian. Get ready for four of the fastest rooms you've ever seen in this run so far. Watch this mother, or I should say uh, Metroid Room 2. This is incredible. Oh my ooh, goodness. Zenny retakes the lead a bit cleaner there through Metroid Room 2. Oats is just coming up on the Golden Four room. Look at Behemoth with those Excellent spring ball strats. Spring ball. Oh my gosh, look at the ammo heading into Baby Skip. Sefi, I don't have I, I don't have the strength. Tell us about the baby skip. Uh make sure to take care of all your baby. No, wait, that's the wrong baby. <laughs> uh okay, so baby skip is if you could play jump rope with a bait. No, 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 that's not what I want to say. They essentially have to jump circles around this baby to avoid getting grabbed, but I don't think they're going to do that because they're actually going to go for an even riskier strat than you normally see with the spring ball tech. Oh my god! Oh, 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 no. oh no! Oh my goodness! Oh wow! So they have to have enough speed to try to outspeed the the baby, and um, it's going to try to like it has like you know. We're all fans of rubber band technology. Uh, that baby's gonna That's try right. to grab you as uh, as you, I guess, move past it. And uh, in it, it's gonna try to, it's gonna overshoot you. And that's your chance to jump over it, shoot the, the little uh, coral reef or whatever, and then just book it, just keep bouncing like right through that door. Incredible, incredible stuff. Behemoth was so close to getting it, but Zenny consolidating what has been an absolutely sensational run. He's already through Mother Brain 1. He's into Mother Brain 2. Behemoth gonna do the Zebatite skip. It won't, getting past that first Zebatite, he won't spawn the rest of them. Going with the down, oh, he's gonna do, go through the second Zebatite using the Spring Ball. Look at that, it's over before it even starts. I don't even know what that <laughs> no, means. No, it's too fast. It's going to take 20 shots. 20 shots from Zenny to dispatch Mother Brain 2. And then he's going to try for the stand-up glitch for an even faster Mother Brain 3 fight. And look at that. Behemoth's already through Mother Brain 2. I don't believe this. Oh, it's a goat setting up for the baby skip. Sefi, so much is going on. It's, I can't possibly take this, it all in. Uh, this last section, there's always so much going on. Especially because both... Like, all three run... Oh, my God. No! <laughs> he, oh. Oates was so close to getting that. He saw him try to save it. Oh, that it was, was so close. a good attempt for Behemoth and Oates. Oh, huge attempt. It's an, it's probably it's the riskiest strat, I would say. And it's a shame because it's right at the very end of the run. Um, And just missing it, you automatically... It can cost you, like, upwards to 25 to 30 seconds, give or take. 
We see Zenny and Behemoth setting up for... Well, Zenny already has this stand-up glitch set up. Behemoth just got it, uh, which requires at least just seven E-Tanks. Like, this is just a cool little party trick that you can do at home. You like, you know, you have a kickback with like your parents and you're like, hey, mom, dad, you remember uh, me playing this game? Look at me now. And then you start showing off this standard <laughs> glitch. Uh, it's it's actually, it's not that difficult, but just be careful on soft locking. That's the only thing that uh, runs risk on, uh, on executing the strat. Oh, no question about it. It doesn't look like Behemoth is... Uh is going for it, going for standard. Looks like Zenny, Zenny oh. got it though. He's trying to get Mother Brain 3's health down so it's one hyper beam shot instead of zero shots. Zero shots is actually slow. It is, and really good job for Zenny getting that one shot on Mother Brain. He's actually ready to escape, and I think that's a cutoff for save yeah, and absolutely. kill. So if you want to let us know all right, I'm uh, refreshing one more time just to give it a shot to see if there are any last second snipes in there, but it looks like it is going to be, well, it's gonna be save the animals. Uh, 24,000 to about 19,000. Wow, kept the, kept the lead, kept the five grand lead. Way to go. Save the animals is what they will do. We saw Zenny with a beautiful blue bomber strat there, a little speed keep through those blocks on his escape. Oatsa goes damaging down to face Mother Brain's rainbow beam. Behemoth going with a great shooting rhythm here, no stand-up glitch required, just dealing the damage to Mother Brain 3. Sefi, this has been uh, the experience of a lifetime when it comes to Super Metroid speedrunning. Right, to witness 100% in its full glory, to celebrate it, and also celebrate one of the best uh, best games of all time. <sighs> Always a thrill. Zenny saving the animals. <sighs> Take one home, you know. Hug it, cuddle it. <laughs> and call it George, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a, your own personalized... Every Super Metroid cart is personalized. Each uh, each Edicoon has its own name or something. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you just have to send proof of purchase <laughs> in the mail to uh, 123 Fake Street, and you'll receive a plush Edicoon. But wow. there we have what it. What an incredible run. GG's to Shiny Zenny, finishing this race in first place. What was his official time? Uh, I'm taking a look here, waiting for the stream to get caught up. Well, Behemoth is not long behind. Oats and Goats with that stand-up glitch executed. Goodbye to the for the third time to the baby Metroid. Behemoth gonna save those animals, but Zenny getting to see that ending cutscene. And Oats and Goats finishing off Mother Brain 3 with I think a three or four shot Mother Brain 3. Incredible, incredible stuff from these runners. Looks like Zenny came in with a 114.50. Wow, so. Still My though. goodness, 114.45 from Mike Yu himself, sub 115 in a marathon race. GG's to Behemoth finishing in second place. Oats and Goats is going to bring mm -hmm. it on home. Bring home that decor of bacon, mm -hmm. Sefi. Mm -hmm. Ball off the bone recipe too, I bet. <laughs> One hour, 15 minutes, and 39 seconds for Behemoth 87. GG's to Behemoth. Second place finish. Oats and Goats into the Leodox room with that Moonfall, uncapping his fall speed. He is one spark up the reverse climb away, Sefi, from finishing right there, this run. Oats, just bring it home. Uh, just skip the animals, Oats. It's okay. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Gotta save those animals. Um... Gotta go with the canonical you, ending. You need some sort of, you know, comfort. Some someone to, you know, console you after the run, and just be there and like, That's you know, right. dry That's off right. your sweat. You know, hit you up with your Capri Sun after. We're doing it real '90s style. Okay, let's go. Saving those animals with a nice. Oh. <laughs> 
just just bonking a little oh. bit. Oh, oh, it's letting out his frustrations on that poor Etikun. Oh my gosh. Oats, it goes back into the room we call Parlor. He doesn't have to worry about doing another Alcatraz escape. Saving the animals opens up those bomb blocks for you. And Oats and Goats is going to bring it on home. The ship has never looked sweeter for any of these three runners. GG's to Oats and Goats. And GG's to all three incredible runners. But you know, Sefi, it ain't over until we validate the runs. So we're... We're going to... 1 17 14 nice. for Oats and Goats Good GG's thing. a wonderful run but Sefi it ain't over till it's over we got to validate that they got 100% That's items correct. and we got to shout out the dev team that is responsible for this incredible game right and um uh, in particular the uh the very the general manager of this game general oh, manager yeah. Gunpei Yokoi brought us a filled our childhoods with a, a lot of cool memories playing this game incredible exceptional <sighs> we're gonna we're gonna catch it on behemoths <laughs> we're gonna get that deer for us Sefi. we're gonna I promise. Yeah. <laughs> we, we will get it. We we will get it. We, I, we got two more tries. <laughs> actually, you want to hear a dono shouting them out? Oh, absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Well, Anonymous donates $1,337. Heck yeah. And all they say is Deer Force. Oh, that's wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. Shout out to everyone. And all of R&D1 staffs. Thank you so much, R&D1, wherever you are today. But Zenny definitely validating his run, finishing in first place. You ready, Sefi? Here it comes. Here, Here it comes. comes. Any moment. Dear Force. There you go. I had to do that oh, one yeah. for Zenny. Absolutely. And obviously we're doing for it for Behemoth as well. So, you know, hit him with the, the double, triple that time. The double, triple. Absolutely, Sefi. Absolutely. Honestly. So these credits are going to run. Behemoth, 100% item collection. Wow. What can you say, Sefi? What 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 more could be said? Um what more can be said is that I've learned a lot through our journey here um in Super Metroid 100% here with every one of you here at GDQ just I got some good recipes. I learned about, you know, some <laughs> uh some quality crisp Movies. Oh, he said it. He said <laughs> it. He snuck it in. He snuck it in. It's uh, it's been oh a while. We gosh. had to bring it back. Oh just yeah. Just one last oh, time. Yeah. And honestly, yeah, it's been so much fun to to commentate with you, hockey. It's a a fun time. It's always a treat. It's always a treat, Sefi. Big thank you. And now for Oats and Goats, just gonna bring it on home get that deer force in there and that 100% item collection. But yeah, an absolute thrill, a treat to do commentary with you, Sefi. Thank you to everybody behind the scenes at GDQ that makes these events possible. Uh, shout outs to Zenny, Behemoth, and uh, Oats and Goats for letting me flap my guns for an hour and almost 20 minutes about this just incredible game. We all love it. And we love all you out there in viewer land. So thank you so much for your unbridled support through all of this, the journey that we took together, Sefi. Uh, for sure. We missed the Deer Force for Oats, but I think, uh, <laughs> I think he's had his fill. <laughs> One out of three. <laughs> One out of three ain't bad. It's, it's all good. Uh, so that, yeah. Now we got to get some, some insight. All right, Sefi, that's it. We did it. Thank you again so much for coming, and thank you, everybody out there, for watching. Yeah, continue enjoying, and uh, you want to say it's your signature outro, Hockey? You know, I've been using a different one, but for the, for the occasion, I think I'll bring back the original. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next mission.